This is the story of the White Apron Ladies, which is a story from our family history and from American history. Um, so I had never heard of the White Apron Ladies, um, but um, my family I knew uh, goes back and my grandmother was a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution. So when I was in my, you know, 20s and 30s, I sort of got interested in what our family genealogy was and I talked to my uncle who had done a whole lot of research and he had uncovered a book written by a relative about our family tree. Um, and one of the stories in there I found really fascinating, this was the story of the White Apron Ladies. Um, so it's about Anna Ballard from the 1650s, um, who is my 12 times great grandmother. Um, my own grandmother's name is also Anna Ballard and my daughter is named Anna. Um, so this just kind of spoke to me. Um, but it's the story of Bacon's Rebellion. Um, so the Ballard family came to Jamestown in 1635, I believe. And um, Colonel Thomas Ballard was a um, officer and he was also a member of the House of Burgesses and he worked with the, um, the governor of the royal colony, um, William Berkeley. And Nathaniel Bacon was, uh, according to my family history book, a bit of a scoundrel and he was leading raids on the Indians in the region, um, which were causing problems with the settlers. And Governor William Berkeley wanted him to cut that out. Um, so they could not agree, and uh, Colonel Thomas Ballard was trying to negotiate all of this. And um, ultimately, Nathaniel Bacon decided to rebel. And um, American history books often point to that as the first of the first salvo in the War of the American Revolution, a um, hundred years before the actual Revolutionary War. Um, but according to my family history, um, Nathaniel Bacon was not, not such a good guy. And so he had built a bunch of earthworks, um, or hills, um, and his troops were hiding behind them, fighting with the colonial for, or the governor's forces. And um, they were shooting back and forth, and they were a bit of a stalemate, so Nathaniel Bacon decided to kidnap the wives of the officers of the governor's forces. So he kidnapped Anna Ballard and several other women, and he forced them to wear white aprons and march on the earthworks back and forth in front of his troops so that Colonel Thomas Ballard and his troops would stop firing on them. Um, and it did work for a while. They had to stop firing. Um, ultimately, Colonel Thomas Ballard's troops won and he rescued his wife and the other ladies. Um, but uh, Nathaniel Bacon ultimately died um, and was declared a traitor uh, by the governor's forces. Um, and sadly, my 12 times great grandmother also died of exposure. Um, Colonel Thomas Ballard remarried and went on to have a long and successful career and helped found the city of Williamsburg. And um, that is the story of the White Apron Ladies.